Hi guys, Arindam here. Over here, mate. And in this video, I will show you Parasar Roundup on Beta Difficulty Solo. For my preparation, I am not going to be using any tames. All I am going to be using is flying over with my Federation exosuit. Now, I have a pump action shotgun as well as a long neck rifle. As you can see, there are two variants of either one of them. I have the one that is set with official difficulty with 298% and this and I also have another variant that is using the unofficial difficulty, unofficial the weapon limit which is around 755% and this will actually be a two part video. In this video, I will show you how quickly you can complete this mission using the unofficial setting and in the next video, I will show you the exact same process but using officials weapon limit. And for tranking them, I have 1000 shocking trank darts which took a lot of time to farm. So by the end of this video, we should have a rough idea of how many shock trank darts to use, whether you use the unofficial method or you use the official method, which will be in the next video by the way. And I also have a, a lot of shotgun rounds which I'll be used for killing the Rexes. So with that being said, let me start the fight. To start the fight, you need to first find a mission terminal, which is very simple. You just select the mission you want, press the track button and it will display the closest terminal to you. Then you go into the terminal and select the mission list and you can press start. from the local Perisers can help me fine-tune your metabolism. So, in this particular mission, you need to trank 12 Perisers before the time runs out. And you're going to get multiple chances at this thing is, in each round, there will be a bunch of Rexes, 4 Rexes in total, that will try to attack the Parasers. And your objective would be to make sure those Parasers are not killed by the Rexes. So that was it about the Rexes. Now we can start tranking them. So there are three types of parasers adults, adolescents, and juveniles. The adolescents and juveniles have significantly more torpor and they take a long time to track, not to mention huge amount of resource consumed. To find out whether you're trying to trank an adolescent, a juvenile or a adult is when you attack one of the adults, they're actually going to aggro onto you and start trying to come close to you. That is not the case for juveniles and, and adolescents. They'll try to flee. Set this one aside for analysis. 
as you can see using the unofficial damage limit this thing is becoming pretty simple what i'm mainly interested is is finding out how simple unofficial damage limits are if you have something that is close to the unofficial damage limit of 755 percent how fast will you be able to complete the mission As you can see, we have mostly taken out most of them. But these are all adolescents. And because they're adolescents, What's that over there? they're going to take a long, long time to rank. So I'm not. Looks like you've picked up a trail. That was weird. The thing about this mission is how many adolescents, juveniles and adults spawn in a particular wave or in any wave is completely random as far as I think. So you might face a scenario in which you are trying to get enough adults to spawn but they are not spawning which might cause a bit of a problem for you. At least in the first two rounds, as you can see, I am pretty lucky. Nice work. I'll set this one aside for analysis. Nice work. I'll set this one aside for analysis. So I have four more of these things to go. But unfortunately, they are all the... This thing. Let me see how much time it will take. As you can see, they are barely taking any damage. But since we are playing in unofficial difficulty settings, at least it's possible to trank one of these uh, smaller ones. Analysis. 
for shocking trank darts i can see that the torpor over time seems to be doing most of the work for me and not the instantaneous torpor Clearly, we do not have time to trank these guys. So, we're just going to wait and see that it finishes with time. Anyway, looks like you picked up a trail. Analysis. Let's get this guy away from the female. Maybe there is a man mate boosting thing also that helps to buff up their trank That's over. This one aside for analysis. What's that over there? Those chow hounds gave me ideas to boost your appetite and improve your digestion. So we just completed beta difficulty solo in under 13 minutes. 
and this is the power that unofficial difficulty gives you the moment you remove the 298 percent damage limit and you have weapons of this power you suddenly become capable of taking out these missions pretty easily i will be showing you an equivalent mission to this just after this one with these two weapons swapped with these two weapons just to see how different it plays it will obviously take more time but we shall see whether it's even possible or feasible or not as you can see the loot is very uh, not very good and we actually don't bother about the loot in genesis part 2 we are mostly concerned about finishing the missions having this check mark so that we can complete rockwell prime and also these uh, survival wounds your metabolism is more efficient this is the reward this mission gives which means you are going to have your food and water drained by around 50 percent less okay so that being said uh, let me say thank you for enjoying this video i'll see you soon in the next one where i'm going to show you the same thing using official gear so thank you and stay tuned why thank you